Now, the next step we can do is we can start adding more details to our letters. And what I mean by that, I'm gonna zoom in here in the center so you can see, but I want you to think about adding a thin outline. So what I mean by that is go around your letters. Let's do the bubble letter first. Let me just kind of zoom out a little bit. There we go. Now watch what I mean by that. I'm gonna basically draw a shape that goes around the entire letter. Here, let me just make sure that outside of my, my letters are nice and clean first. So I just wanna go around each of these letters and you wanna to try to create a nice consistent, that's why you wanna clean up your, uh, your letters first. See how I'm doing this? A nice consistent outline. And I wanna do that on all six of these letters for practice right now. Because that's something that when you're creating your own graffiti word, you're gonna definitely want to include. When we do part two of this uh, tomorrow, you'll see why when we start doing a full letters, full words, excuse me. So it's just kind of good practice too. And it just starts to give it a little bit more style. We'll do the B down here as well. So go around each of your letters and try adding some nice thin outlines. If you need to clean any of your details up, any of your letters up, go ahead and do that. But don't worry about making it perfect the first time. So it starts to kind of look cool. A couple other things, a couple other little details you can start thinking about here. Let me just do a um, quick outline around the B right here. And take your time. Remember, you can pause and rewind as much as you want if you are following along with the video. Now, you can also add little details on the inside of the letters. You know, for instance, down here, like maybe you want to color like the top of it blue and the bottom of it red. You can draw a little, I kind of like these lines a lot you know, little details on the inside, then each of these spaces could be a different color. You know, you could fill, you could draw a little, a lot of people like to draw little just shapes like this inside their letters, just for detail, you know, to make it more interesting to look at. There's no reason for it, you know, or you can draw, you know, maybe you could fill the letter with polka dots if you wanted. Maybe you just love cows so much, so you're going to draw black and white letters with, uh, you know, polka dots in it. You know, so think about different different details you could fit inside the letter. You could actually, you know, get some of your colored pencils out and start using some of those colored pencil techniques that we practiced as well. So your goal right now is to add, you know, your thin outline. And then each of these letters, try adding some other detail on the inside. Try adding some colors, some pencil shading, some, some shapes, some designs and to see what you can come up with and spend, you know, the last bit of class today doing that. So I'm just gonna color this B really quick, but I'm gonna do something kind of cool with it. I'm gonna do a kind of a dark to light fade, I think. And I think I'm gonna keep the outline um, white like that, but maybe I'll make like the outer edges of the B darker and kind of slowly start, look at that, kind of start building up the darker blue could be kind of cool. I mean, there's no, oh, I'm gonna do a dark outline too. Remember that from uh, the earlier week? So anywhere there's pencil, I can clean that up. Actually, it's starting to look kind of cool. I kind of like that, like darker on one side, lighter on the other. But I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm just kind of experiment, you know? See what you can do. See what you can come up with. Try to add some drop shadows. We're going to talk about that uh, next class, though. But today is just about experimenting with these two different styles of letters. I kind of like the like lighter section here and the darker section along the outside. 
But, you know, see what you can come up with. Like I said, maybe you're going to do like a... I don't know. Could be cool. And maybe put the inside like a different color. Or I kind of like it white like that. You know, maybe uh, maybe you're going to color your outline blue. You know, it's 100% up to you. But go ahead and, you know, work on finishing all six of your letters. Make them look finished, you know. Like imagine they're each an individual drawing, not just a letter. And then do the best you can do. And that's going um, to be our lesson for the day. All right, have fun with it.